Did you know with Autodesk Advanced Steel Project Explorer, you can create DXF and NC files for plates using queries? So let's explore. A query with a plate thickness of one inch has been created. I can turn it on by selecting the light bulb. Additionally, I can go to the selection filters and select plates. So now they're selected. We want to number them before DXF or NC files can be created. So I'm just going to select a simple numbering. So there you can see the names for the single parts and the main parts. I'll just close this down. And again, I want to select the plates. So I'm just toggling back and forth and then going to my selection filters and selecting the plates again. So the next thing you want to do is you want to create a drawing. So for this demonstration, we're going to use advance and this is the default out of the box. Three single parts selected, as you can see in the right window. Scroll down and we'll use single parts, plates, page full on an ANSI D size sheet. Again, you can see selected parts and I'll select OK. And the drawings for the plates one inch thick should be created. So this time I'll just window select and I will create NC files based on main part. What that will do is it will give the single part plates the outline of the columns. So quick, quick, in one shot, the NC files have been created. I've created DXF of all the plates with a single click. And again, our command line tells us it's successfully created. Let's go and confirm in the document manager. There's our drawing sheets. Let's expand and look at our NC files where we can have a little preview. And we'll expand our DXF. And as I said, there's the column markings. And this is how we can use queries to create NC files and DXF files using the Project Explorer with Advanced Steel 2023. Save time by leveraging the multifunctionalities of the queries toolset. Thanks for watching.